I smile tightly and rest a hand on her head to calm her down. It's fine, I was going to go anyway. Just the stuff on the list? She nods, then bows deeply twice as if to make her gratitude perfectly clear. We were going to meet outside the school gates at six. Thank you. I was going to get it, but I need to study for the test tomorrow. Test? Ah, that's right, science. How are you doing with that? She brightens ever so slightly. I've been spending more time on it than before. I think I can do okay. Good work, then. She, she too, smir starts smiling, and much more earnestly than I at that. I have full confidence that I can do fine in, in it without any extra studying, but the fact that she's putting in the effort instead of just reading in the library is heart heartening. I'll grab your stuff and take it to your dorm in the evening. See ya! <laughs> With a small wave, we part ways. I'll do my homework before meeting Lily. I should b be able to take care of it in time. Dear God. Oh, thank God. You know what I was sad at just then. And sad, angry at just then. <laughs> Hope, hoping we didn't see Kenji. And we didn't. Hallelujah. What the hell does that say? Randling with a particularly com complicated math problem has caused me to be a little bit late for my meeting with Lily. Only a couple of minutes, but enough to make me step smartly out into the courtyard and take and to the school, ga school gate. I make a right turn and start my way towards the small town below, leaving a few students turning the other way to the bus station. I slip my right hand to my pocket as I walk in the orange sunlight of dusk. Sunlight. Thankfully, the sweltering summer, summer's heats, summer heats started to die down, making way for a pleasant, cool breeze. Oh, that pose. When I stretch my hands high above my head, a familiar figure takes from takes form. Cane in her right hand. Ah, Lily. She stops and turns around. S swiv swiveling. Yes, probably. Her head slightly to try and work out exactly where the voice came from. Hey, it's me. I quickly catch up to her, coming in beside her and matching her slow pace as we reassume walking. Good afternoon, Hisao. Hi there. I glance up at the sky. A distinct tinge of orange discolours the clouds, washing the footpath in its light. Long shadows from the trees fall across the wide road down the hill. hill. So, Hisao, what brings you here? Just going to town to grab some groceries. Hanako sent me. Hanako sent you? Yeah, said she needed to study for a test tomorrow. I was going to come down anyway, so I'll just buy her stuff as well. Unspoken is that Lily really could use some help to get food, but it's an obvious fact that neither of us needs to state. It's good to hear she's studying for it. I thought the same thing when she asked me to come with you. That just got a totally different thought in my head. Hmm. I wonder. We continue walking down the street, the familiar sound of her cane echoing through the air as we go, except for the occasional passing car and the leaves whispering in the branches. There's a blissful silence. Thank God I can finally relax for the first time today. I glance over at Lily, resuming. That porcelain face of hers never seems to lack that air of relaxed confidence. I, I guess the same could be, could be said of her personality too. As she silently walks, her face remaining pointed to the street ahead of her, I look 
ahead and savour the cool air blowing over my face. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. This is probably the calmest moment I've had since the about face of my life took so recently. To have it while... To have it while walking to get some groceries. What a weird life. I feel the crump crumpled up note rubbing against my hand in my pocket and pull it out to check its contents. Let's see here. Eggs, bread, cereal, fine. Lettuce. Lettuce. Shaved ham. Shaved ham, what? That sounds like quite a bit to carry along with your own. Yeah, just how much does this girl eat anyway? My mind suddenly clicks that, yes, there actually is a person beside me. Wait, I mean... <laughs> she laughs wholeheartedly. My, my, Hisao. Her giggle punctuate... Her giggles punctuate her words, though she's making little effort to suppress them. Quite direct today, aren't we? Damn you! Yeah, you got me there. Still, it's quite a bit. Usually I go shopping with Hanako, so I know what she buys. It's the same thing every week. Huh? She's a good cook? She gives a nervous giggle. <laughs> uh, it's usually me who ends up cooking. I used to do so for Akira, so it's no problem doing it for Hanako as well. You can cook. Oh, Jesus, Mary in heaven, that but you know what it's gonna mean. I'm gonna avoid that but. A short hum with an amused little emanates from beside me. I wonder if the fact that she seems amused by my comments so often is actually genuine, or rather just from, or rather just from a want to make me more comfortable in addressing her blindness. Oh, for God's sake. There are ways around it. Some meals are more difficult to cook than others because of being unable to see what I'm doing, but it usually only takes a little more time. Fingers can double can double as very useful measurements to measurement tools, for example. It makes sense, but she'd have to be pretty careful not to hurt herself. You don't say that either. <laughs> Don't even think that, Jesus, Mary. I've had enough of this blindness thing where you're just questioning it, just take it as it comes. I wonder how many times that's happened, given that it sounds like she's cooked alone for possibly years while Akira worked and her parents were gone. With that, the conversation trails off. Compared to the awkward silence of Hanako, Lily seems generally content to say what she thinks and stay quiet when there's nothing to say. The slick road under my feet it is bathed in an orange glow, the occasional fallen leaf crunching underfoot as we walk. I let out a deep yawn, my lack of sleep coming back to haunt me. Did you not get much sleep last night? I couldn't sleep at all for the last two nights. Probably insomnia. Oh god, really? Why did you say that? Lily's face... Where's my mouse card? There it is. Lily's face suddenly becomes worried. It feels like a personal failure every time she gets worried about my well-being. Even if it's generally nice to know someone cares. You have insomnia? Are you going to see the nurse about it? Nah, no, no real need. It's happened before a few times. My meds screw with my sleeping occasionally. Mayuri, where the hell are you? Ah, I'm sorry. Come on, it's not your fault. At least I shouldn't, at least, I shouldn't have, have any trouble to sleep tonight. You do worry me sometimes. I worry you? I reach around and scratch the back of my neck. I kind of want to address this. Hey, Lily. Hmm? I don't mean to sound weird, but please try to forget about my heart condition. She looks 
kind of lost. I hardly blame her. I guess what I'm trying to s get it is just don't treat me differently because of it. She bows her head slightly, her white cheeks reddening almost. Uh, what? Imperceptibly. Imperceptibly? I don't know, probably. It's only natural to worry about those around you. Well, it's still nice to know there's someone like that out there. It may be somewhat embarrassing to say, but it's the truth. Lily takes a breath to regain her composure and manages, and manages a gentle smile, though her cheeks remain flushed. The final downhill walk to the store passes in silence. <sighs> Welcome. I suppose I'll get my stuff first and Hanako's on the second round. I grab two well-worn red baskets from the stack beside the entrance and pass one to Lily. Just as she did before, she lays it on the ground and slides her retracted cane between the baskets handles before picking it back up with her right hand. When she takes hold of my arm in her own, I'm surprised at just how fast this kind of casual contact becomes, became so natural, mostly due to necessity, no doubt. Shall we? Sure. While we navigate around the store, the odd person occasionally passing, passing us pays us no heed at all. It's nice compared to, to the stares and whispers around the city. Bastards. As we reach each... Really, that word again. A sile. I quickly check with Lily what she needs and grab, uh, needs and grab it along, grabs it along with what I want. Putting it, putting uh, items into the respective baskets. It's an odd feeling to depend on so much for something so basic as shopping. Hanukkah would be practically a necessity. Hanukkah would be practically a necessity for help to pick out what she wants after all. Right, I'm pretty much done with both of my stuff and Hanukkah's. You needing anything else, Lily? No, this should be everything. Off we go then. Oddly, there's a queue there's a queue mile long. Considering the store's only large enough to warrant one counter, seems like it'll take a while. Damn it! Lily gives an inquisitive look, unable to see the reason of my complaint. The queue's really long. Looks like we'll have to wait. How strange. Sharing the same mood of... Red... What? what? Resignation? Yeah. We reluctantly take our place at the end of the line. One person finishes the line, moves up. Another person finishes, then the line moves up. By the time we finally reach the head of the line, I'm so close to dozing off that Lily has to gently pat me on the back for me to move up. It's out. It's out. Hmm. Ah, sorry. She gives a short sigh of concentration as I move up, getting my the, getting their groceries for Hanako, and I put into separate bags. Thank you. Please come again. By the time we emerge from the store, Lily's holding a single bag while I struggle to carry f four, both hands well and truly full. It's a lot of work, but thankfully the items in them are light. Even without looking skyward, oh that song, well, melody rather, it's obvious that surprising amount of time, time's passed, the road outside being dark and lit by street lamps. Once Lily retrieves her cane, we set out back to the dormitories the way we came, leaving the welcoming, leaving the welcoming warm glow of the store. Despite the road being empty of cars, the full bags abundantly make for the lack of noise, constantly clucking and squeaking together. My my Hisao, it's good to find that you're eating well. I'm a grown guy after all. I need to eat all I can. 
<laughs> hmm. It must be nice being a man. What? Seemingly not noticing or ignoring my surprise at the com completely out of left field comment, she continues on without missing a beat. Weight doesn't really bother you when eating most of the time. I get what you mean. Women tend to worry about stuff like that more than we do, I guess. Oh, and when they say they're fat and you just go, but you're not, they just give you an evil glare! And I'm just like, what did I say? What did, what? Oh, God. Exactly. It makes me somewhat envious, to be honest. Well, it's not like we can outright ignore it. With an affirmative nod, we continue on our work. Huh, that's right. What is? Harako mentioned your birthday was earlier this year. Do anything special for it? She gives a long pause, lost in thought for a few seconds as she recalls the event. Not really. It was just Hanako and I having a little party during the night after school. Your birth your birthday is supposed to be a big event, you know. Dear God, man. I never celebrate mine. Sounds like a pretty lonely way to spend a birthday, just she and Hanako staying overnight. You bastard! You will not make me feel down about my ways of celebration. Because to me, age is just a number. There's no real fucking difference. Sorry for my negative point of view, but I am a cynical bastard. Birthdays always felt like a family occasion for <laughs> Oh, God. Ugh. Yes, I do visit before you say, but I am just like, ugh, I don't care. Oh, God. How many said that? I love you all, <laughs> if they watch this. They were a time... They, they were a time when... What? They were a time when I spit... Spite of their full-time jobs. They, they were a time when I... When, in spite of their full-time jobs, both of my parents would make an effort to be there for the day, or at least for the party beforehand. Butch it, butch it. It reminds me of how Lily mentioned she hadn't even she hadn't seen her family in such a long Oh yeah, shit. And even ended up moving away for Akira's house afterwards. From Akira's house afterwards. But I guess it's the same in situations as mundane as these. Considering her inability to read the packaging, just getting groceries would be a pain without somebody else around. In the end she just uh, has Hanako and I, and Akira when she's off from work. Be that as it may, she still seems to have many more dis distant friends among the students, not to mention people like Yuko. It seems to be her own choice that sh there's such a separation between those who are close to her and those who she only o uh, what and those who she only socializes with. It humbles me a little to see how much Lily seems to have their life, have her life set up and going just as she wants. Yet Hanako is there for her to celebrate her birthday, and I am here helping her with shopping. It's a weird kind of symbolis, I suppose. Symbiosis. Starscream. Symbiosis. Are you alright, Sal? Sorry. You just seem to got very. You, you just seem to go very quiet, that's all. Ah, sorry, I was just thinking. Oh? Ah, now, oh, gee, oh, um, I think this is a good time to end the episode off, people. We will ch make a choice in the next episode. Ha, you hate me now.